And this is a fantastic sound I've just created in Digitone. Uh, just listen to the filter. It just blows the sound completely away. And I'm going to show you to make this sound in about four minutes. Uh, Digitone's a fantastic device. And you can use this sound for industrial dance, you can use it for techno, industrial techno. First of all, what we do is we set the uh, Digitone back to uh, its initial settings and we're going to change it to about 145, 146 BPM so that uh, you know we're going to get some fast paced sounds there. Straight away going to setup and um, I like to adjust the filter key track to about 99 to 100. Not always 100, 99 is a good option as well. And then we're going to go into um, the octaves and bring it down, not one, but two, but going to go down three octaves. So you get a very deep bass sound. One of the keys to this is actually using the arpeggiator, but it works quite well without the arpeggiator as well. But let's get a bit of sound going here, first of all. Just pick some random notes there. You can choose any notes you want, really. Depends what sort of beat you're looking for. And then we're going to soon start to build on the sound by first going into um, the trig and making sure we've got 16 notes there. So we've got constant notes playing. I know it's very quiet, but soon when we start to add the uh, synth and start to add the volume as well, it begins to change quite a bit. So start to change the C, A and B um, algorithms. Not too much to do, make sure algorithm A is on 150. Add some feedback, of course, and then um, you're going to start to give a bit more rough and a bit more movement to the sound. And then we're going to get some nice sound on here, going to the algorithm and the synths. And now you can hear some music beginning to take shape here. Adjust the um, attack on both of them as well. And you're going to get some movement now, but we haven't achieved that sound yet. We are going to achieve that sound quite soon. And you can hear that sound now taking shape. Adjust the filter. And then open the filter slightly as well. But we're beginning to get that sound now, that original sound. And you can really have a fantastic sound there because that sound can form part of any track. Obviously, had some driving. We haven't finished just yet. We're now going to uh, use the LFO on the harmonics. This can take quite a bit of adjustment, but just follow what I've done here. We'll also use the um, LFO as well to uh, add some feedback in as well. You can actually get some quite crazy sounds out of this. But we're beginning to get a bit of a sound now. I think you can probably create two or three different sounds from this uh, using this method here. Now the feedback's uh, taking it down a step, but at least it's on the right, you're on the right road now here. Make sure the mode is free, both of them. Don't have it on uh, one. Three gives it just a bit more movement. BPM to two, and I think it's two and four on the other one as well. So we're now beginning to hear the sound take shape. Um, and we're almost there in, fa in fairness. I let this video play on quite a bit from the fact that I do adjust the sounds uh, as I move it on because I like to create something else, uh, maybe a different sound for a different video I'm going to do. It's better, it's back down to three now. Uh, change uh, you know, the speed down as well. But you can adjust all these to taste. And then what we're going to do then is just make some final adjustments as we, as we move it on there as well. Not forget the delay. It's getting a bit crazy. But now we've put the filter on, we've now got the control completely back. And it's beginning to sound like the original sound that I started at the beginning. And so now you can just adjust it to taste there. Uh, what might be an idea might be to automate the filter so that it actually builds up or creates a nice build up for the track. Uh, but I hope you enjoy this and I'll leave the video to play so you can see some further uh, tweaks and changes to make. And please subscribe.